welcome back to my channel. It's China here. Today I wanted to share with you guys probably the most important tip that you'll ever need when you visit a Disneyland park. So considering smartphones have pretty much revolutionized the way we live, there's a saying that goes, there's an app for that. Well, pretty much there's an app for that. This is aside from, so obviously there's like other tips out there, like the best food to eat, the best rides to go on, most time efficient way to get on the most rides, the best shows to watch, the best views to take pictures, things like that. But the most important one that I believe, and probably any other Disneyland enthusiast would back me up on, is you have to have the Disneyland app downloaded onto your smartphone. The app has everything. What I find that a lot of people like to use the app for is to find out the wait times for rides, whether it's because you're barely about to go into the park and you want to find out what the wait time is for the ride that you want to go on, or whether it's because you're already at the park at one side of the at one side of the park and you want to find out a wait time for um, something that's on the other side rather than having to walk all the way there, you know, things like that. But the Disneyland app has a bunch of cool features. I'll show you guys in a second. I, of course, have it downloaded onto my phone. So let's go ahead and open the app. It's on the top left. The first thing that shows up is a map of Disneyland and the attractions with its wait times. At the bottom where you can see Bell, that's my profile. So when I click it, I can get park hours as well as purchase tickets and download my annual pass onto the app. So from the map you have an overview of the wait times and when you click on it you can see which ride it's for. So for example the 65 minute wait is for Hyperspace Mountain. There's also another way to view the wait times. If you see the three dots and the three lines on the bottom right, you can click that and you'll be able to see a list of all the rides in alphabetical order as well as the wait times. If you scroll to the right, you can see which characters will be out in the parks for that day. And if you click the character, you can see where they will be located at. You can also see the times of when they will be making their appearances. Now if you scroll over to the right, you will see your options for dining. The list is for dining options at the Disneyland Park, Disney California Adventure, and Downtown Disney. Now if you scroll over to your right, you'll be able to find where all the restrooms are located at. I recommend having the map pulled out so that way you can see in terms of your location and where the nearest one is to you. Your photo pass needs are in this section right next to it. To the right of photo pass is entertainment, and here you can find all the shows that you may want to watch throughout the day or that you might be looking forward to. Um, again, if you click the bottom right, you'll be able to see a whole list of them in alphabetical order. And to the right is events and tours. Here you can find what events are currently happening at the Disneyland Park as well as any tours that might be going on that day. All your guest services needs are right next to it. And to the right, you'll see a list of hotels. And these are not just in the Disneyland Resort, but any neighboring hotels that offer cheaper rates as well. And right next to it are your recreation options. If you plan to shop, you'll want to look through here. It has a list of all the shops available, as well as the times that they're open. And lastly, the spa that's located at the Grand Californian Hotel. Oh, and just to show you guys, there's also a map of Disney California Adventure as well. But yeah, so that's why I highly, highly, no, let me rephrase that. But that's why you have to download the Disneyland app whenever you visit the Disneyland park. There's just no way around not having the app. It doesn't make sense. If you visit the park and you don't have it, 
It's free to download on the App Store. Um, I know it's available on iOS and Android. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like it. But definitely leave a comment down below with questions that you guys have about the Disneyland Park so that way I can upload more videos on what kind of tips and advice that I can give you guys. And as always, be sure to follow me on all my social media accounts and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But I really hope you guys like this video. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!